Today we're going to go over reflections. So the first thing we need to do is go over that definition. So first of all, um, a reflection is a flip in a line called the line of reflection where the coordinates of the pre-image are the exact same distance as the image. So in this picture over here, this is the line that they are reflected over. So this is our line of reflection. All right, so now let's practice some of this. So it says um, the trapezoid has those points. We're gonna graph it and um, its reflection as well. So all of my original drawings will be done in black, but then everything else is um, gonna be done in a different color. So let's go ahead and graph this trapezoid. So I'm gonna pause the video right now, so it's gonna look like it appears. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video and graph your trapezoid. So this is what it looks like. I have no idea why they call this a trapezoid. This is a rectangle, um, but we graphed it. And then this is our line of reflection. So it's going to be at negative 3, meaning we're going to reflect it over this line right here. So what we do is count how far above R, S, T, and V are, and we're going to count below that line the same exact amount. So it'll look like this. Um, remember, whenever I do humps, it's me counting. Um, don't draw that on your paper. So this V is one, two above the line. So we're gonna go one, two below the line for V prime. R is one, two, three, four above the line. So R prime will be one, two, three, four below the line. And remember, I'm just doing the humps on here um, so that you can see how I'm counting. It is not something that we ever expect for you to put on a test. Um, T is one, two above the line. So we need to go one, two below the line and that's T prime. And then S is one, two, three, four above the line. So we need to go one, two, three, four below the line for S prime. And then you connect it. Like that. So my R prime is at negative one, negative seven. S prime is at four, negative seven. T prime is at four, negative five. And V prime is at negative one, negative five. All right, we're going to graph the exact same rectangle now. Now that I have it here, I can do it a lot faster. R, S, T, and V. All right, and then my line of reflection is at X equals two, which is this line right here. All right, so my R is one, two, three to the left. So I'm gonna go one, two, three to the right for my R prime. My S is one, two to the right. So I'm gonna go one, two to the left and that's my S prime. My V is one, two, three to the left. So I'm gonna go one, two, three to the right for my V prime. And then my T is one, two to the right. So I'm gonna go one, two to the left for my T prime. And then here's my new rectangle. So R is at five, one, or R prime. S prime is at zero, one. T prime is at zero, negative two. And V prime is at five, negative two. All right, so just like we learned mapping rules for translations, we will do the same thing for reflections. And oh, I forgot to tell you, this is like the middle school thing. So a reflection is a flip. So 
the FL in reflection is the FL in flip, in case you can't remember. It flips over that line. All right, so reflection on an x-axis. It reflects a point in the x-axis. And then the words for y is it reflects a point in the y-axis. So I'm going to write both of those real quick. So that's what you will hear in a word problem or something like that is if it if it'll say um, a rectangle reflects point B in the x-axis or whatever. So it'll sound something like that. Now, if it's y equals x, it reflects a point in the line y equals x. And the same thing for y equals negative x, it reflects a point in the line y equals negative x. So I'm going to write that real quick. All right, so that's what um, would be written as part of a problem, and then what you would do for each of those. So there are symbols for this, are mapping symbols. So, um, and you can also um, use the mapping symbols to actually find your answer without a graph. So if your whatever your original point is, remember we always start this with, with x comma y for all mapping rules. It's always put that way. As far as the x-axis goes, your x value stays the same and your y changes signs. For a y-axis, your x changes signs and your y stays the same. For your y equals x, your x and y flip-flop. So your y becomes your x and your x becomes your y. And for your y equals negative x line, your x and y's flip-flop and they change signs. Like that. So we're going to sketch an example. Of course, this is my line of reflection because it's the x-axis. So if I have point A up here, then A prime would be right below it. And then this one is my y-axis that we are reflecting over. So if this is my A, then my A prime would be over here. All right, so these are the ones that you may not have seen before because this isn't a middle school thing. Um, but in Algebra 1, you learned about the parent function of a linear graph, which means it's a straight diagonal line right through the origin. So this is my line of reflection now. So if my A, oops, that should have been black. If my A is here, then my A prime will be there. You should be able to fold the paper on itself, and then both those A's would be on top of each other. And this is a sketch, so it's not exactly right, um, but that's what should happen. And then Y equals negative X is a diagonal line going through the origin downwards, so this way. And again, this is another Algebra 1 graph that you would have learned. So if I am reflecting... A prime right here, or A right there, A prime would be over here. All right, so let's practice this. We have A at neg, I'm going to go ahead and graph this triangle. So pause this video and go ahead and graph the triangle. All right, so this is the triangle that they give you. And now we need to do its reflection on the x-axis. All right, so of course you can do this um, graphically on this graph, but you can also use this rule right here to actually um, solve it. So you take all of the coordinates, the X values will stay, stay the same and the Y values will change signs. And you'll see that whenever we actually reflect this. So A is one, two, three above. We need to go one, two, three below. C is 1, 2 above. We need to go 1, 2 below. And then B is on the line. And whenever something is on the line, when you reflect it, it just stays there. So now my A prime is negative 5, negative 3. So if you notice the difference... Um, your 3 just turns negative. 
B, you have two, zero. And remember, you turn your Y negative, but there's no negative zero. So that's why it's the exact same. And then C is now at one, negative two. So my mapping is that X stays the same and Y changes signs. All right, now let's go ahead and draw ABC over here. Since I already have it drawn, I can do it a lot quicker. There we go. It hasn't moved. ABC is the same. Oops, that's not right. I'll put C a little bit too. There we go. I knew it wasn't a right triangle. All right, A, and it's B on the line, right? Yep, B and C. All right, now we have to reflect it across the y-axis. So that's this line. Um, so again, you can do it using this mapping rule right here. You don't actually have to use the graph if you don't want to. But I'm going to do it both for those that do want to. So A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left. So I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right. C is 1 to the right, so I need to go 1 to the left. Oops. Okay. And then B is 1, 2 to the right, so I need to go 1, 2 to the left. And this is B prime. And connect your dots. A is now at 5, 3. And if you notice the difference, my X changed signs, my Y's did not. B is at negative two, zero, and C is at negative one, two. Which means that you changed all the signs of your X's, but your Y's stayed the same. All right. Okay, here's ABC again, and now we are going to reflect over Y equals X. So whenever you do that, your line of reflection goes straight diagonally down the center of your graph, like that. So that's now my line of reflection. And because it's diagonal, we're going to count diagonally when we use the graph. So what that means is this A, when I count diagonal, goes 1, two, three, four, diagonally. So then I'm gonna go four in the other direction. One, two, three, four, and this is A prime. And the same thing with C, it goes half of one diagonally, so I'm gonna go half of one back, and that goes right here for C prime. afraid of that. I couldn't delete that tiny little line. Okay. Uh, right here. And then B is one diagonally, so we need to go one more diagonally. And this is where B prime goes. Okay. So this is my reflected triangle. So A is at 3, negative 5. B is at uh, 0, 2. And C is at 2, 1. So if you look to get from here to here, all we did is flip-flop these. My negative 5 went to my Y, and my 3 went to my X. So you're literally flip-flopping your X and Ys, which means that this will be Y, comma, X. You just flip-flop them. And you could absolutely, and it would probably be easier, to do this using the points rather than counting diagonally, but that is completely up to you.